Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just want to introduce to you something new for this channel that was inspired by my recent discovery of podcasts. So um, I want to incorporate something that is personal and informative for me. So I'll be starting a weekly podcast review where um, every week I'll share with you one podcast that inspired me or made a mark in you know my everyday life and how i'm gonna use my learnings from that podcast or how i've experienced it or how i'm gonna use it moving forward welcome to my channel welcome to my first podcast review let's get on with it so for my first ever podcast review it is an episode from the happiness lab with dr laurie santos dr laurie santos is a cognitive scientist and a professor of psychology at Yale University, aka Goals. Um, I, I really wanted to take up psychology and I've always been interested in you know, psychological studies, how our brain works, Kenyan. So this podcast really spoke to me. The Happiness Lab is actually her you know, outlet to share scientific research that will inspire us and change the way we think about happiness. So in the first episode that I listened to, which is Dial D for Distracted, the question was, if a gorilla passed by in front of you, would you be able to see it? Or would you just not notice it at all? Um, come on, Parang common sense. Who would not be able to see a gorilla walk right in front of them or pass by them, diba? Pag may dumaan sa harap mong gorilla, hindi mo mapapansin? Parang, obviously, makikita mo, but she shared a study where people were asked to count the number of times a ball bounces on the screen. At the end of the video, the question was not how many times did a ball bounce, but did you see the gorilla that passed by on the screen? And majority, I don't know the exact percentage, but a majority of the people answered, huh? What gorilla? No, we didn't see him. What do you mean? Parang, seryoso ba yan? Parang ako hindi ko get. So how can you not see the gorilla? And apparently, when you're too busy focusing on one thing, you tend to miss all the other things around you. And that's proven by this research and it's called inattentive blindness. Because we're so busy focusing on one thing, we tend to miss out on all the other things around us. And that is especially true with the advent of Mr. Steve Jobs' invention, which is the smartphone. <laughs> it's so funny. One of the bullet points I wrote down here was like, bubblegum sales declined when the smartphone, the iPhone was invented. Like, huh? Like, what is the correlation between bubblegum and Steve Jobs? Even Steve Jobs didn't know it. I mean, I'm sure he was thinking this is gonna change your life. This is gonna change the way people's lives are gonna be lived with a smartphone. But did you know that bubblegum sales are also gonna drop? <laughs> Apparently, it's because when we are, when do we get bubblegum or when do we get gum? It's when we are in the checkout lane waiting for our turn to pay in the counter, supermarkets, groceries, um, convenience stores. But ever since the advent of the iPhone and 3G and the internet, People don't get distracted by the, you know, the checkout counter anymore, like the stuff on the checkout counter, because everyone just gets out their phone, looks down, and hindi na napapansin yung mga distractions dyan, like bubble gum. People have been more distracted because of their phones. Imagine how many missed moments, how many moments that we could have, you know, met the love of our lives the grocery that we didn't get because we were all so, we're so distracted by our phones. I mean, we all know that, but it took again at this podcast to remind me just how powerful, powerfully destructive and, you know, destructive and distractive, <laughs> if that's even a word, our phones can be natin because we're so attached to it. And I think one other thing that struck me in this podcast is just the proximity of our phone to us is enough of a distraction. It doesn't have to be us using our phones. It can be like on the table when we're out in like a dinner or lunch with our friends. And even if it's 
face down it's actually enough to distract us and take away from a good experience a good moment with friends or family there's also a research that was done on that there were a group of people asked with that to be away from their phones and drop their phones before going in the restaurant and people that had their phones nearby turned down like they weren't using it but turned down and parang this group the group b with the phones turned down um already even if they weren't using it parang they rated their experiences much much lower than people in group a without any phones so just the phones being beside you near you turned down it already takes away from an experience so remember that guys even at dinner tables, when you're eating with your family, phones or gadgets are, must be placed far, far away from you. So, did you hear that, Celine? <laughs> so, my experience is that's so true, you know, especially since I'm always on my phone, if not on my laptop, because that's where my work is social media and online shops. Everything is like online, and I have to be checking it. It's not 24-7, you know, most of the time. When my kids are talking to me and I'm on my phone, they always tell me, Mom, you're not looking. You're just listening. Or sometimes, even when I say, I'm listening, I'm listening, but my, I, my eyes are on my phone, just hit me. Na parang, oh my gosh, I'm not like present. I, this is what I model for my kids. That I'm always distracted by my phone. I'm always on my phone. And it's really, the mom guilt that cuts deep. So I guess it's really... Good, like on weekends, we have no gadgets, just quality bonding time together. And, uh, ano pa? yeah, I guess when we're outside, what we should do is, you know, put our phones down, put our phones in our pockets, away in our, in our bags, stowed away, and just be in the moment. You know, look at the sky once in a while. I remember when, you know, Tristan was younger, and Celine too, and they would always say, The sky is so nice and the clouds are so nice the sky is this color and that was the only time i would actually look up and see how beautiful the sky is because you're always like so used to looking down especially at this time where we're always we're indoors it's so easy to be on our gadgets 24 7. You gotta cut disconnect literally disconnect the internet like turn it off disconnect from our ipads and gadgets and just spend this time together because you know i don't want to look back and just think oh what did you do during the pandemic and we were just on our phones oh we just watched a hundred a million tiktoks and um, yeah but i mean of course we can't live without it it's just my reminder is to also dial dial down on the gadgets and disconnect dial d for disconnect dr laurie ko na yung title ng ng podcast mo. So dial D for disconnects. Good to disconnect sometimes. And uh, what are the other learnings? Let me look at my notes. Um, our attention is a currency, as Dr. Laurie Santos said. Just like money, you know, you give away your attention to different people, experiences. You pay with attention. That's why you pay attention, right? Because attention is currency like you pay money you pay attention oh that makes sense maybe that's it but yeah dr laurie says that our attention is also a currency and just like money you have to make sure to spend it wisely spend that attention wisely because unlike money which we can earn back or we can make more of even if we give it away or if we lose it or if we spend it attention the, the time that we spend watching a TikTok video for like one minute. We cannot get that back. I mean, sure we have more time, but that time is finite. Like we only have how many years to live as compared to the exponential amount of money we can earn if we just, you know, are lucky, work hard, I don't know. But our time, we die, we die, we die. But money, money is infinite. So spend your energy and your time. The things that you pay attention to, spend it wisely. That's it for my first review. Thank you for listening. Let me know any podcast recommendations that you have. I want to listen to them. This is just like a feeler or like a, actually just a test video. A test review to see how I do this. Like the setup 
and the editing how I can edit this down to like you know minimum of 10 minutes less because um, if not I'm just gonna be rambling a long long while I hope I made sense I hope um Hindi magalit sa akin si Dr. Lori Santos sa pinagtasabi ko, baka hindi na pala tama. <laughs> I'm applying it wrong. But you know, you know, that's what I like with podcasts. You take in what inspires you, what will motivate you, or what moved you. And you share it with others in the hopes of them listening to it. And uh, if they get something else from it, they get inspired by it in a different way. It's a different experience for all of us. I just want to share these positive and feel-good um podcasts that have really been changing the way I think even in the short time I've started it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.